Yo, what's up, Phil? How have you been? How are you doing? I think that enough time has passed here for like from the not like us. So yeah, I came here to check out people uh, who are like noticing things that we have, might have missed from it. You know what I'm saying, man? You know, check Insta X and Kendrick Lamar's not like us music video. Let's check out, man. Things you may you maybe missed. And then all like that's video. If you've been on the internet at all in the past three hours, you know that Kendrick Lamar is booming right now because he just dropped the Not Like Us music video, which has amassed 4.6 million views just in three hours. More man, than you know. I checked it out after like 11 hours, man. And it had like 11 million views, man. It's like he was averaging a million per hour. That's insane, man. I'm now, if you haven't seen the music video, video go watch it and then come back because I'm about time. to spoil some stuff. Okay, firstly, we see Tommy the Clown. Mm. If you feel like you've seen him recently, it's because he was at Kendrick's pop-out pop concert. Yeah, He's yeah. incredibly well-known in L.A. and Cali for his style of dancing, which he invented, called clowning, which later kind of turned into crumping. Next, similar to New Ho King's mention in Family Matters, Kendrick and DJ Mustard pull up to Tam's Burgers in Compton. Now, if you're a long-term Kendrick fan, you wait, may have... Wait, wait, what? Now, if you're a long-term Kendrick fan, you may have already known about this place because he mentions it on Element... And he also has done a couple interviews where he speaks about okay. burger joint. DJ Mustard, though, wearing a Blue Jays hat while at Tams in a Drake diss track. There's shade on multiple levels. Then we see a glimpse of the content. She, she ain't seen she, man. A Drake diss track. There's shade on multiple levels. Then we see a glimpse of the Compton courthouse, which where have you seen before? You saw it 14 years ago in Compton State of Mind. Both okay. these places actually you see, so it's kind of like a throwback to that music video. And then we see an ex-Raptors player, DeMar Rosen. We all kind of saw this coming because of the lyric. Pop, pop. Last thing I'm going to spoil, just because I feel like I noticed this in the music video when I was watching and I didn't know if this was a thing. But do you guys see what I'm seeing? It's Drake from Dark Demo Tape. Hold on. Trying to swindle Kendrick. Tell me if you think I'm reaching here or if this was... Oh, she, she's not even explaining it that deep, man. Okay, from what I, I, I had, like, this is like, um, from not like us, the book, man, this is supposed to be Drake, like, from the demo tapes, and then he just drives without touching him and says he's the boogeyman, you know, you know what I'm saying? He can't even touch me, something like that, you know what I'm saying? She's not even going to levels I expected to go to, like, try to, like, explain this, man. It's actually a reference. It's not just a reference. Just like a shot, like, okay, you can wear the mask and try to... There are a lot of things that she missed, man. There are a lot of things that, I, that, that she missed. Uh, she didn't talk about uh, the Whitney thing. She didn't talk about the... Like, the Whitney pictures that leaked. She didn't talk about... Um, what else? She didn't talk about the owl that was trapped. She didn't talk about... She didn't talk about a lot of things, man. She didn't talk about this, uh, this day free in the music video and he directed it. Sheesh, man. But anyway, man. Hold on, man. Okay, let's check this one out. If the, the, he, he doesn't cover them, I'll try to like go back to the music video and try to, to explain them. Like the deer, like. Kendrick's music video for Not Like Us is full of layered disses towards Drake, like this scene of him with an owl in a cage. Referencing Maya Angelou's I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings. Implying that Drake should stick to singing over rapping. With the owl Strange. You see these guys even go into detail I never thought of, man. Sheesh! Was, I know why the cage bird sings. Implying that Drake should stick to singing over rapping. With the album <laughs> representing Drake since it's OVO's logo. And also implying Drake should be locked up for all the PDF file allegations that Kendrick talks about on the song. He's even playing hopscotch again. Okay. Little... In addition to what he's saying about uh, the owl, like Drake is being caged as an artist right now. <clears throat> I watched like the academics in, uh, reaction to this. It was like Drake should just like sit out because right now. Our eyes are on him, you know what I'm saying? People are ready to attack him whenever. So he's just like, he's still caged right now. Because a lot of people might not want to work with him because of this whole thing. He did a, a, a feature with um, Camilla Cornello. I don't know her name. He didn't hit like Drake features hit, you know what I'm saying, man? So 
she he should just like chill out for a minute, let the, the wave just chill and then maybe come back. Because right now he's still caged. Career wise. The PDF file allegations that Kendrick talks about on the song. He's even playing hopscotch, a game that little girls play, in the yeah. scene where he says the A minor one. And dropping the video on the 4th of July, a day celebrating American independence, after doing the pop out show on Juneteenth, proves that he planned the whole aftermath of the beef out. Continuing his point about Drake being not like us, an outsider to American rap culture, something he puts on full display when he brings out all of LA to Compton to chant this diss with him throughout the video. It especially fits with him calling Drake a colonizer, since the 4th of July was when America got freed from being a British colony. Kendrick uses LA rapper and celebrity friends throughout his pop a concert to show the heritage and history that he comes from that Drake tries to imitate by associating with Atlanta artists but just can't really replicate and some of the stars that showed up in the show made an appearance in the video to double down on that point from Mustard who opened for him to DeMar DeRozan who he name dropped on the song since he went to go play for the Toronto Raptors Drake's hometown team but eventually came back home to the US and made an appearance on stage during the live performance of Not Like Us Tommy the Clown who also performed a set before Mustard at the show is a dancer raised in South Central LA who was legendary for inventing yeah this guy is really talking like really explaining it and and the t- I feel like they didn't go in details for the TDE thing, you know what I'm saying? Top Dog and the whole TDE being the Drake said Kendrick and TDE are not good. And right now, he, he was with Epso as a pop out, even in the music video. J Rock was there, Top Dog himself was there. A lot, I think these are others, these are like. Maybe additional stuff or something. I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying, man? It's a double down on that point. From Mustard, who opened for him, to DeMar DeRozan, who he named us, and made it at the show, is a dancer raised in South Central LA who was legendary for inventing the form of dancing called clowning, a huge inspiration behind crumping, in response to the Rodney King riots in 1992. His movement was meant to be a healthy alternative to LA kids getting into drugs oh, and crime. And those I values, didn't know, like, this guy really the inspiration before crime. And those values reflect Kendrick's emphasis on art being a way to represent and heal communities rather than imitate them. He featured members of TDE and Black Hippie, from Schoolboy Q to J-Rock to Absol, oh, Top Dog, Fortune and so, and the video is 5 minutes and 55 seconds long. We all know Kendrick is always really specific with his numbers and throughout his seasons on Degrassi Drake was always spotted wearing triple five soul he recreated this video of him doing push-ups in Compton from his burner Instagram page which he also referenced in his video for N95 a scene that Drake made photo of with his drop and give me 50 hook on the disc push-ups Kendrick later flipped this disc against Drake on Meet the Gram saying that he would be a better father to Adonis because he'd teach him to do push-ups and build discipline instead of taking those epic for weight loss even the fact that he did push-ups in public as a celebrity in a random park in Compton was a statement about how much his city loves him and how safe he is there something that he's saying Drake will never have in the historical center of hip hop like LA. He also does exactly 17 push ups. Oh, yeah, I was about to say this. Was, was he won 17 Grammys. And he's also saying Drake doesn't want anything over 17. The pictures <laughs> are off the wall in this room that has studio speakers in it, which references Drake saying, <laughs> He made direct references to some of Drake's business on Family Matters, specifically about him domestically abusing Whitney and Dave Free being the father of his son. But these scenes of posing and dancing with Whitney and his children, right when he says the Family Matters line, and the fact that Dave Free directed the video, Whitney's even wearing a wife beater. Directly referencing these allegations, something that I don't really feel like she directed the videos of posing and dancing with Whitney and his children. Right when he says the family matters, and the fact that Dave Free directed the video, Whitney's even wearing a wife beater. Oh, shit. Directly referencing these allegations, something that I don't really feel like she'd do if they were true. He references the vignette type shot in Family Matters with this scene, and it has this guy behind him in a ski mask representing Drake from his Dark Lane Demo Tapes mm. album cover. In this scene, Drake is trying to catch up to Kendrick, but gets swept away right when he says the boogeyman line, and Kendrick is standing next to a guy with a Compton hat on, representing how him having his city by his side is why Drake will never catch up. He smacks the shit out of this owl pinata in some scenes, another reference to an activity little kids do at birthday parties, while also shit. visually representing the beat down that he's saying he gave Drake in this beef. And at the the very beginning of the video, he gives us a snippet of a song with a Not Like Us type flow, potentially teasing either a remix or a preview of a song from his next album. The snippet also ref- Shit, man. We want that song, man. We want that song, man. We want that song, man. Flow. Potentially teasing either a remix or a preview of a song from his next album. The snippet also references Kamasi Washington, a saxophone player from LA who was featured on Pippa Butterfly, hinting that his next album might have some of the same jazz influences that this album was famous for. He also references the blueprint by Jay-Z in a line about IP or intellectual property, which is kind of a response to Drake saying that he had to drop and give his label 50%, implying that what he's trying to build with PG Lang, his own label, is going to give him more control over his own music, just like Jay-Z with Rockefeller Records. This video actually reminded me a lot of the video for All Right, with the huge crowds of Compton natives singing along to Kendrick. And the music video for that also started with another song first. I don't know if this was a coincidence, but his fit looked mad similar to the guy from this viral video. You what? <laughs> <laughs> I missed that one! <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, you been... reminded me a lot of the video for all the yeah. huge crowds of Compton natives singing along to Kendrick. And the answer for that good. also started with another song first. I don't know if this was a coincidence, but his fit looked mad similar to the guy yeah, who was playing the video. What? Let me know if you thought this music video lived up to the hype. It got 5 million views in 4 hours, and it's looking like it might be Kendrick's biggest video of all time. And for more context on this song, watch my breakdown here. Let me know what I missed down below, and as always, thanks for watching. I think you covered pretty much everything, man. I think everything like that I thought I saw, man. I think you covered it in Paul Missy, all of that amazement. Yeah, let me know what we missed, man. Let me know what we missed from this, man. Sheesh, man. Anyway, man, I'm out for now, man.